my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I will be bringing you guys a totally different team now with Sephiroth. This is one that I've been thinking about putting together for a while. Um, I do think it is a little bit tricky uh, because Sephiroth essentially makes Elena's courage useless. So it is tricky. Like I've been, you know, I've tried this comp a few times trying to figure out you know, if even having courage on as a buff is worth it. As of right now, I have it on, um, but I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna go into this video and we're gonna try it out just because I've always liked the idea of this composition. I love the idea of light and dark compositions as well. So let's just get into it. All right, so going into Sephiroth here, he's sitting at 10.8 KHP, almost 1600 attack, 105 agility, 430 dexterity, about 400 luck. He's got 11 defense, 8 spirit. Going into his back end resistances, he has 22 slash, 32 pierce, 32 missile. He's neutral on magic and negative 5 to strike. His elemental resistances are always good. Going into his uh, TMR right here, I am running bells with the ability off, with the HP set bonus and the attack set bonus. So, pretty strong. I am running him with Vow of Love just because I really want him to pull away aggro from Elena. Um, the tricky part is I have to put Elena on the opposite end of the map because I really don't want her to draw attention. Uh, so the tricky part is getting her over to where Sephiroth is fast enough. So we'll see if we can get it done today. All right, going into Sylvie, she's sitting at level 120. She's got 8.1 KHP, 115 agility, 375 dexterity, 350 luck, about 1550 magic, 38 defense, 32 spirit. Uh, her back end attacker type resistances are 2 to slash, 15 pierce, 30 to missile, 30 to magic, and negative 10 to strike, with pretty good elemental resistances across the board and neutraled out on dark. Um, for her trust stone, I am running HP up and agility up stones. All right, and last but not least, here we have Elena. She's sitting at 7.2 KHP, 114 agility, 365 dexterity, about 410 luck, 1450 magic, 9 defense, 17 spirit. Her back end resists are 7 slash, 17 pierce, 10 missile, 20 magic, negative 5 to strike. And I did, I was able to get her dark resistance up to 25%, uh, partially due in fact to the luminous armlet that I have equipped as her accessory and also due to the setup that I have right here on Balafor. So honestly, I just want her to be able to survive and not get one shot by Sephiroth. So hopefully this is enough to do it. Uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see if this comp holds up. All right, let's see here. Here is toilet paper. We have Joker, Lucia, and Sephiroth. All right, so why don't we try this? We will kick it off today. Just so you guys know, I have Sephiroth at reincarnation 25, so I've been able to get him up one reincarnation level from the last time. I thought that we would get some more opportunity at UR Scrolls when Yuffie was released. Um, it looks like they're still trying to charge 500 busier per reincarnation level, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Orange Jay was trying to say that transcendence is not for whales. Um, yeah, I guess if you're just looking at getting a unit to base 140, no, but the entire reincarnation system as it's looking so far is looking pretty insane for actually getting up <laughs> all the way to reincarnation 100. Okay, so it looks like she did survive a hit from Joker right there. I don't think she got off her, oh, she did get off the haste. And I think she does have um, her courage up. Perfect, she does have courage. Sephiroth is going to have hate right here. Here we have Elena coming in. She's going to take down Lucia. Okay, Sylvie kind of close. It looks like Sephiroth is going to take out Elena right here. Here we have Joker. Sephiroth is going to reflex. Our Sephiroth is going to come in. He's going to take down Joker right here. All right, now we just got to survive this hit. Sylvie should go for the limit break. Okay, looking good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take down the other Sephiroth's barrier. Sylvie running in. She's going to get countered. Hopefully she doesn't get one shot right here. Oh, he doubled up. That's intense. 
he must be really fast. Um, but Sylvie has 115 agility. So the fact that he doubled up right there, very unlikely. Okay. All right, so let's go on to the next fight. That was pretty close, though, honestly. And that dude is, like, rank 178, so he's spending mad money. All right, let's see here. Here we have another one. It is Sephiroth, Lumiore, and Fina. Let's try this team right here. I think that looks pretty good so far. I mean, I do love Elena. She's one of my favorite characters. I always use her as my backdrop character. Uh, so I love to keep her relevant as much as possible. Um, and I do like this comp. I like the Pissarro TMR with the hate down and the haste up. And I don't really like the idea of running Battle of Love on Sephiroth. I'd rather run a better card for him. But I think in order to run Elena, it really is pretty necessary for him. Okay, let's see. It might help to turn off his Masamune in waiting and just have him go straight, uh barrier okay so now he's got the barrier up Lemire is running out all right Sephiroth's gonna take the first hit here comes Elena she takes the hit on Lemire there goes Sylvie with the limit break okay we're gonna take the hit from Fina right there Sephiroth's gonna get his first hit He's going to take down Lemire. He's going to remove the re-raise. Okay, Elena is on Courage. She's going to take down Fina. Here comes Sylvie. And she's going to finish off Sephiroth. Okay, so not bad. Our entire team was left alive. So the first battle came down to super, super, super close. And this second battle turned out pretty dang well. So the team is actually looking pretty good. I, I will say that it did take some finesse in the tweaking in order to get this team to work as you can see we're up here in the top 150 so everyone is pretty strong okay let's see what else we got i think i already fought that guy before big bad wolf this team looks tough uh ruinstern has a massive aoe um but you know what let's go for it the idea is to test different comps and i don't think I think this was the very first team comp that I put up for Sephiroth was Little Lila the Bold, Ruin Stern, and Sephiroth. So I'm gonna have to take it down right now. But I don't know, I'm honestly a little bit scared. Ruin Stern with that giant AoE is definitely gonna be tricky because he can definitely one shot Elena, I think. Pretty sure he can. Okay, there goes Lila. Okay, Elena gonna get the hate down and the haste. Sephiroth gonna get the barrier. Okay, there Sephiroth is gonna hazard form. Here comes Leela, she's gonna get the courage. Elena moves forward, she's gonna take that first hit. Sylvie's gonna re-raise. Here comes Sephiroth. Okay, he's gonna remove the courage on Leela, she's gonna go down. Ooh, Sephiroth, or Ruinstern goes for the hit on Elena. She's going to survive through Courage. Take that hit. Sylvie sitting all the way in the back. Not really ideal. If Sephiroth can survive this hit, I think we got it. <laughs> Sylvie not looking like a very uh, supportive unit in this battle, let's be real. Okay, so Sephiroth with no HP. And finally Sylvie's like, oh yeah, sure, guys, I'll come help. I'm co I'll come help. I was just gonna chill over here the whole time. I thought you guys had it. But all right, that's pretty good. We're two and one right now, so that's pretty fun. So the team is definitely holding up, so it is viable. If you do have these units, um, I do think that the, the beta for the setup right here was pretty delicate. So, you know, tweaking just a couple of these things, it could make this team a lot harder to use. So there it is, if you guys wanna screenshot it. All right, so we got two more right here. Hopefully we can take them down. Let's see what else we got here. Here is a regular Stern. I have not seen him. I kind of want to fight him. Ooh, a 140 Whisper. I kind of want to fight the 140 Whisper too. 
All right, let's see here. I haven't fought a 140 Whisper. I'm curious, like, how tanky she actually is. I'm curious if this player has um, actually reincarnated her. I think that there's a huge difference between, like, reincarnating a unit and transcending a unit, as you guys, I'm sure, are starting to see. All right, so let's see how we do here. Elaine is going to get the Courage. Sephiroth's going to move in, use Scintilla. All right, Whisper's coming out in front, so it looks like it's a pretty good setup. I like that defense spirit buff that's getting off on Elena and Sephiroth. That's definitely helpful. Okay, Sephiroth's going to get the barrier. Elena's going to get a little bit far ahead right here for my liking. Okay, so Whisper looking fairly tanky right there. She did not take much damage. Okay, here comes Sephiroth. He's going to remove the re-raise. Whisper's going to run forward. Okay, Fina's going to go down. Sylvie's going to run forward. She's going to get another defense spirit buff. Sephiroth's going to come in. He's going to get countered. Here comes Elena. She's going to take down Whisper. And Sephiroth getting countered again. Here comes Sylvie with the limit break. There, Sephiroth is going to try and take us down. He's going to take down Elena. And our Sephiroth is going to take down their Sephiroth. Alright, so definitely looking pretty good right here. That was a, definitely a fun fight. Um, Whisper maybe did not really hold up as much as I kind of hoped she would. <laughs> but, I mean, she always had a little bit of trouble. She was ex always extremely tanky. Her HP has always been a little bit low and her damage output has been low. Alright, so let's see if we can find a good fight here for the last fight of the day. What do we got? Zanu, who are you? We already beat you, or something like you. Uh, I think we already fought Big Bad Wolf. Here is a dark resistant... Oh, this is a little Leela team. They're using an SR. I feel like that's not really fair. I think we already fought that team. We already fought Toilet Paper. This is an interesting team. Dwayne, Sephiroth, and Helena. And then we have Evoker right here, which we already... Did we fight them? Last time I fought Dwayne, I got beat. So I think I'm going to have to go and get some... Uh, I think we're going to have to take down Dwayne in this fight. But he... People have been running Dwayne without a weapon, kind of like a tank build, which I really like because I always run tanks like that without a weapon, at least 95% of the time. And that Eternal Darkness, super solid. Uh, I think last time he actually double immobilized or double disabled Sephiroth. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen again. He does have Revitalize though, so we'll see how this goes. Alright, so Elena going to get the Haste. Sephiroth's going to get, I think, the Scintilla buff right here. Okay, so not a great setup for us right here. Okay, Elena's going to go for Dwayne. He's looking very tanky. Here comes Sylvie with the backup. Now we're going to have to take a pretty good hit. Elena's going to go down. Hopefully Helena's too far away. She's not. Sylvie's going to go down. She does not have the re-raise. This is not looking good right here. Oh, that was so lucky. And it's over. All right, so I think we went three and two for the day. So that's not bad. Um... We could probably tweak it a little bit more uh, if Sephiroth had gotten out before Elena in that fight, which means you have to turn off Masamune and waiting, which means that he's running out really far ahead. So, like, there's pros and cons to everything because if Sephiroth runs out far ahead, he gets too far away from Sylvie, Sylvie can't heal him, and then Elena can't carry. Sephiroth can carry sometimes, Sylvie can even carry sometimes. Elena's never going to be able to carry, really, because she... You know, most of the time Sephiroth is one of the last characters to go down, and he's always just going to eliminate the Courage and take her out in one hit, or pretty much close to one hit. Alright, well that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun for me to make it. I'm not going to lie, I'm enjoying it a lot, playing with Sephiroth and making all these different compositions. It's been a total blast. I will say I am so, 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 so stoked for Winged Stern to come out. I don't know if you guys also heard, but uh, Rafu was just announced to come out in JP, who's gonna be like 
legit the first UR dark tank and the, the kit is looking insane. So apparently Rafu has like a the same kind of limit break as Wind Glaciella where she can extend the elemental chain one turn um, even if the enemy attacks. She has re-raise in her kit. She has a heal upon hit in her kit. Um, I think she has a full barrier in her kit along with attack type resistance um, resistance uh, buff up along with debuff resistance up. So kind of like Dialdo, I think. Dialdo, the earth tank that just came out. So I'm thinking that Rafu is going to be really insane. So there's so many cool units coming out. It's so hard. I wish that I could pull from multiple elements, but I'm kind of like deadlocked into light and dark right now. Although Hyo, I am like so on the fence for. I loved him in Final Fantasy Bravebacks VS. Anyways, let me ask you guys a question. Who, what units are you guys planning on pulling for? Are you stoked like in the next three months? Are you guys gonna go for Bradley? Are you guys gonna go for Alphonse, Dialdo, Roy? Rafu, Miranda, Winged Stern. I'm curious to hear. I'm curious to fight your guys' comps in Arena. That being said, thank you guys to everyone who likes these videos, who comments on these videos. I appreciate it. And thank you so much to the people who subscribe to the channel. I really, really, really appreciate you guys from my heart. So thank you. That being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.